Flowers for Algernon might be a fiction book, but there are so many parallels between reality and fiction books. This book taught me to treasure everything in that moment. Hey everyone, my name is Eugene and I help you lead a more fulfilling and intentional life. I've been reading a lot of books for a long time, but these five books stood up for me. It changed my life. So I thought, why not share it with you? These books that I'm recommending to you are a mix of fiction and non-fiction books. The first book that I'm going to introduce to you is called When Breath Becomes Air. This book is written by Paul Calanti. It is one of the first few non-fiction books that I read and this book got me crying at the end. He talked about his perspective of life and death and as a patient and a doctor. When he discovered he was sick with a stage 4 cancer, his life changed a lot. I read this book quite some time ago but it shifts my perspective. This book talks about emotions and feelings with people he loves. This book impacted me because I'm a highly motivated person as well and I want to help the world. But sometimes you might compromise your own well-being so there should be a difference between how you can help people and how you should prioritize your own well-being. Sometimes it is okay to let go of some opportunities, prioritize your own personal well-being. The second book that I read was called Grit by Angela Duckworth. I read this book about 14 or 15 years old. I can truly say that this is one of the more impactful books that I've read in my life. I have read a lot of self-help books since then but I can clearly remember how this book helped me so far in life. This book talks about Angela Duckworth's research on grit and a book is so big that it got into her TED talk. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. There are times that you might be passionate about something, but without consistency, without trying it again, it is very hard for you to make mistakes. And talking about mistakes, this book talks about how failure is one of the key indicators to success. So yes, fail more, try more, repetition helps a lot. And in this case, quantity matters more than quality. I still keep reminding myself that grit is the difference between success and giving up. The third book that I want to recommend to you is called Flowers for Algernon. This book is written by Daniel Keyes and it is a fiction book. I personally like to switch around fiction books and non-fiction books to get my mind thinking differently all the time. Even though this is a fiction book, there are many lessons within. One of the many is empathy. Fiction might not be real, but it usually pans out to the possibilities of the world. And there are so many parallels in our lives. So that's why I recommend you to read this book or fiction in general. We can always learn something from all sorts of books. The fourth book that I want to recommend to you is called The Little Book about Common Sense Investing. This book is written by John Bogle, and we're talking about finance here because the book title, right? I think this book is a great starter pack for you to understand what a logical and rational investing is. I only picked this up when I started investing but I still find this book a ton of help. Some of you know that I only invest in ETFs for my asset. However, when I first started it, I only listened to TikTokers, Instagrammers or podcasters. I didn't know what I was investing in but I was just putting money into it because they were saying that it's great. Luckily, they were trustworthy. This book really cements my understanding towards this approach of investing. The message that I generally get is slow, steady and boring makes a good common sense investing. However, this is not indicative of how you should be investing too. Everyone has their own style and you will develop your own style on investing once you learn more about investments itself. The fifth book is called Becoming by Michelle Obama. I followed this book so closely and every chapter that I read is an emotional roller coaster. Michelle Obama is a great storyteller and I appreciate her style of writing. I grew up in a rather similar background as she did so I could really empathize with her journey quite a lot. Her parents focused so much on education and she worked really hard as a young girl. I also really appreciate that she's an introvert. There are so many leaders out there that are extroverted and it's very hard to find introverted leaders. I think I can relate to these two books a lot because while finding success in their own ways, they also focus on the people that got them there. Empathy and gratitude is such a valuable trait and I wish to see more in successful individuals. So there you go, five books that changed my life significantly. What about you? What other books have changed your life? Comment down below because I would like to read them too. If you want to learn some tips on how you can start a reading habit, you can check out my other video over here. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. See you again. Bye.